going guys? Jaime Rodriguez here at my mall location. Having a good time, it's a Sunday. And uh, I just want to come to you guys all, give you a new uh, refresh, updated YouTube video. And I want to talk about my latest DVD out. I got to tell you guys, I'm very appreciative of all the support globally. And I thank every single one of you for purchasing that DVD from the bottom of my heart. Um, it goes to furthering uh, my endeavors, and, you know, paying the rent of the shop, the bills here, and uh, you know, the kids at home, uh, you know, they, they get fed with the with the money. So we're all uh, artists here, and I, I, again, from the bottom of my heart, I appreciate every single one of you guys uh, supporting me. But I want to talk about the DVD and some of the qualities uh, in the DVD, some of the things we go over. Uh, I have a YouTube a reel that talks a little bit about it, but I want to take the time to do this personally and go over each and every very important aspect to the DVD. For one thing that I really want to drill on on this how-to DVD is this DVD, once you're done, you're going to get full control of your airbrush. You're going to learn how to fully control and maximize the use out of a double action airbrush. Now, uh, you know, there's a lot of various ways of learning how to paint. You know, some people paint using their thumb and they go in and out of the, weave in and out and use distance to determine the depth uh, and the thickness of their line work. Uh, some people squiggle and shake and move their, uh, their airbrush around to create details and texture. And these are all excellent ways and techniques of learning how to airbrush. Uh, another, another guy I know, he, what he does is he, he's using a double action airbrush he pulls the trigger back, he locks it in position, and he just uses it kind of like a single action airbrush, really not using the trigger control much. So what my approach does, it takes all these methods into one. And it give, allows you to fully control this airbrush. That way you can use this airbrush to do all those different various techniques. To do the texture technique, distance, whatever you want to do, after you're done watching my DVD, I'm going to give you the information, the knowledge you need to know to be able to fully control this airbrush. Uh, I got to say, there's some information on here that is, uh, you know, in many ways revolutionary because it takes all the approaches out there and it kind of refines them into this maximized approach. And it's all about one in particular stroke that by learning that stroke, it opens up the control into so many areas of, uh, of fully optimizing and using this airbrush. So that's one of the fo most, uh, most important things I want to talk about the DVD. Uh, the second thing is the advanced lettering techniques. That's going to give you the understanding of how to uh, obtain that real clean unorthodox stroke you guys will see me use a lot. In particular, my dagger type style lettering. Um, that's on the advanced lettering. It gives you a stroke and then you can apply that stroke to your own style lettering and cre create your own look. Uh, it's great for calligraphy, it's great for that oriental style brush tapered effect, uh, it's great for various things and you can apply it uh, to various things. So that's a, an important part of that. Uh, the next part I want to talk about is the designs in the DVD. Uh, if you're an advanced artist, I, ha I go over about, I think there's 10 to 20 good quality designs that I go through I teach you how to paint them, I walk you through the process, and at the end there's a slideshow gallery of those designs. So even if you're a professional airbrush artist, you're going to gain some of my best, most powerful selling designs I have here in the store. And those are t-shirt designs. Uh, I go over some of the tattoo style lettering that you see that's very popular out here. So if you're into that and you want to learn how to do that, I go over that. Uh, I go over how to do shading, color usage, line control, all the basic fundamentals on how to control the airbrush, and I get into the more uh, intermediate stuff like uh, color usage, uh, how to create really bright effects with your color and highlighting. And then at the end of the DVD, I go over this wow design, which is a design that I take about 30 minutes to do, and it's a custom design. And in that design, I go over how to create really bright highlight effects, how to use your color with the secondary lighting, and uh, it just shows the process of how I do things in case uh, you guys out there are interested in getting into my mind and understanding uh, how, how I go about it. That last design where I dedicate 30 minutes to really goes into the in-depth uh, process of how I do that custom work. So you got that, you got the designs, uh, 
you got the lettering training. Uh, oh, I talked about how to fix a bent needle, how to make a cool airbrush holder. Um, man, let me see what else. There's pretty much two and a half hours of footage, so I go over a lot of cool stuff. It's mainly dedicated to the beginner and the intermediate, but there's something for everybody on this DVD. So that 40 bucks that we're asking for, uh, even if you're professional, man, those first two shirts are gonna pay off instantly with the designs that are that are tested and proven and are great sellers. But I wanna plug my DVD. You guys can give me a call on the order, 602-413. 9058. You can email me at pureimagedesign at msn.com. I'm very active on Facebook and I always post up my latest work so you can check me out on Facebook uh, and my website pureimagedesign.com. But in particularly the Facebook page, I really keep up to date and see what I'm working on. You can get inspiration, I share information, uh, a lot of good stuff. Um, but again, 602-413-9058, buy the DVD, or Pure Image Design at msn.com. Uh, but right here, I'm, uh, I'm happy to be working on a good friend of mine's uh, vehicle hood. Uh, he, he does a show circuit with this car, and so he's constantly having his, his uh, vehicle all over uh, you know, Arizona, showing at the coolest shows, the dub show. Uh, to name one, but all the all the shows were uh, we we have that scene of customizing their vehicle. Um, but what we're doing here is we're doing a skull biomech piece here, and it's kind of the skull is the brain power behind this whole scene. And with this, uh, some of the features to this hood, I got that I really want to plug in on are the energy effects coming from the eyes, the electric kind of coming into the skull head. And of course, that's the, that's the energy and effects part. And then we got the bio mech, which is the skull is the bio, and the mech is the mechanicals, all the hoses, and all the various mechanisms we got going around here. Uh, one of my rules in doing this process and in guiding the process is we gotta kind of make this piece look like it makes sense. So when you look at how everything's connected into each other, you notice that there's some sort of rhyme and reason to this whole piece and uh, you know this hose connects into here you know the the tubes are going into into areas that that look like a there's some sort of flow or energy force you know you got the energy from here and these right here are, are like my Gatling gun so these can be either shooting out some bullets or some some lasers I'm still unsure and then we got two to maybe uh, you know energy filters or, or or light indicators that show we got some some energy going through here, but you know it all ties into the skull. You got kind of the the uh, framework for the skull that allows everything to kind of hold together. But everything has style. It has look. It has reflection. It has color, and uh, that's how I guide my process. You know, if there's a light here, there's a reflection there. Uh, in, in the skull socket we have this light here and it's reflecting on the skull sockets there. So with my work you, you're going to notice a lot of make sense kind of stuff, a lot of truth and truth leads to information. Truth is information. So if you can learn to apply an effect to your work, like say you put a, I did a light effect here, then the truth of that light is there's going to be reflection. So you add reflection on the, on the nearby surrounding objects. Now, what's, we have a couple, a couple things to guide us here once we do that. Well, we have reflection, so we need to have color. So we have to come up with the, the best way possible to give this the coolest look we can. So we use colors that are attractive. We use them in bright manners, that way they're appealing to the eye. And uh, we just use ways that'll open up the piece and allow it to grow. So by putting a light here, we allow this area to be lit up by light. Uh, again, you're just getting. I'm sharing information on what guides my artistic process, and I do share a little bit, a lot of that in the DVD that shows shows that, especially that 30 minute segment. But <clears throat> we're taking our time here. We're doing about a, a month's worth of work, and I really want this hood to kind of hang out here. The this guy's allowing me to take time with this. So what this allows me to do is go back and forth every day and to refine it. And if I see something I can improve upon, I'm gonna do it. And that's the great thing about this uh, this hood. It's gonna be something where I dedicate a lot of time to. 
uh, and I just sit there and just kind of meditate on where to go next. But uh, stay tuned on the uh, on the footage. Again, I keep this. I'm keeping this uh, posted on Facebook, so you can see how progress is going on. But again, guys, I want to sign off here, giving a, a very uh, sincere thank you to all the supporters out there. And stay tuned for more stuff, man. I got a lot more coming your way. Thanks a lot, guys.